for joining us. The fourth phase of the Pops Ferry Road Project in D'Iberville is about 40 days away from completion. In the meantime, some businesses are dealing with the current effects and they're also a little worried about the future. Mike Lacey has the story. There are issues with just about any kind of infrastructure project, but in D'Iberville, it's particularly painful for a few businesses that are just about to open as this Pops Ferry Road construction continues. City officials acknowledge there's an issue, but say it's a short-term problem for a long-term gain. Growth can be a pain. Despite the construction on the Pops Ferry extension, there is access to the easternmost end of the old route but confusing directions are taking a toll. We're a pickup restaurant too, so how are people going to get in? How are they going to get out? We're confused about that. Dave Melton is just days away from opening his new business, Rockin' Chicken and Waffles, but the area is now more out of the way because of the diversion designed to accommodate the city's expansion. That's the growth line. That's where we've experienced it. That's where we're growing, and that's where future growth is going to materialize along that corridor. It's a great thing the city is doing. Uh, I think it's, it's going to be good for the city, uh, but I don't know how it's going to fare for us. For sure, the traffic count will be down. It has affected some of the businesses that are now open, like the nutrition place on the end at Snowbiz. Their sales have declined about maybe 58%. So getting noticed is going to take more work than putting a banner up for drive-bys. We're going to have to do a lot of social media to just get our name out there to where people will click on it and order online, and then we can figure out how to get them in to pick it up. In D'Iberville, Mike Lacey, WLOX News Now.